Hey there, are you experiencing work stress right now? So either, you know, coworker said something to you that, um, you know, has caused you to have some not so great, not so pleasant feelings. Maybe it was a performance review that went worse than you thought. It might be that the report that you thought was due at three is now due at one o'clock or any, you know, any, anything can really happen that can increase your stress at work. Um, but you're a professional and you want to know how you can get some relief from the stress immediately so that you can continue on your day and not let it weigh you down. So that's what I'm here to teach you. There are, uh, so when you're doing meditation and mindfulness, there's techniques where you can turn towards some of those feelings and break them apart, or you can anchor away and focus on something else. This is an anchoring away. And it's not saying, hey, I'm not having these feelings. It's saying, uh, I can't focus on these feelings right now because I have work to do. I'll have to come back to them later and I need to create a buffer zone so that the way that I act the rest of the day is in line with how I want to show up and how I want to behave when I'm at work. So I'm Carrie Twig. I'm a lead unified mindfulness coach um, and I want to teach you an immediate way to help to relieve some stress you might be feeling at work. You can do this practice standing up or you might be sitting down and we'll just start by getting into a grounded position. So if you're standing, that probably means just feeling your, your feet on the ground. If you're sitting in a chair, I'm gonna adjust, putting both feet flat, beautiful. This one, we're gonna have our eyes open uh, and I invite you to look around the room in which you're in and let your awareness, let your attention go to whatever it is drawn to visually. And when something catches your attention, stop, note, which just means pay attention that your awareness is on something. And in your mind, say, see. And continue to say, see to yourself for as long as that item is interesting. And if your attention gets pulled to something else in the room, Great, note that, and in your head, say see, in a really calm, matter-of-fact way, like this. See, 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 and continue doing this for a minute. And if you hear sounds, you're talking to yourself, you're feeling some other stress, let that be in the background. It can exist with this, but most of your awareness is on noticing what you can see and labeling it see. Beautiful, that's it. So that's a technique that you can use. I um, have clients who will use it before they do a presentation. They'll be backstage, you know, and looking at <laughs> whatever they see, right? So putting your attention somewhere else so that, you know, whatever stress you're feeling has a time to settle and then you can move on with the rest of the day. Now, in a full mindfulness program, you would want to, you know, develop some of those skills that you could you could turn towards some of those stressful emotions. But usually the time to deal with the stress and the cause and the big reaction isn't in the exact moment of it until you've sort of built up some of those mindfulness skills like concentration, sensory clarity and equanimity. But just this te technique is called see out. So if you're feeling stress, see if paying attention to what you can see in the room in which you're in allows you to experience some relief so you can show up at work how you want to. I'm Carrie Twig. Thanks for watching. And I hope that you experience great relief today. Thanks. Bye.